Hi there and welcome back to the channel and in this video we are again gonna do a hands-on exercise on one of the uh, new feature that has been announced in AWS reInvent which is gonna be announcing Amazon S3 metadata which is in preview easiest and the fastest way to manage your metadata. Another blog that you can probably see which is on 3rd December was introduction to queryable object metadata for Amazon S3 buckets which is in preview. So in simple language, uh, we're gonna, I have a regular bucket on which I'm gonna enable this uh, metadata. And this metadata, uh, basically AWS will store everything inside a table bucket, which is usually an iceberg table behind the scenes. And then I'm gonna show how to query this metadata uh, using Spark on EMR. Again, you can use any other query engine, but I'm gonna be preferring Spark to demo this. So let's get started again, hands on lab, right? So that's, that's what we like, right? So, all right, so the first thing that we wanna do, uh, I'm going to be using this bucket, Saumil Shah, uh, Saumil Dev Bucket 9095. I have some files inside that, right? And I'm going to probably enable the metadata. You can see it's in the preview mode. But before you do that, you need one more step, which is you need to go to table buckets. And then you can click on create table buckets, give it a name, and then click on create table buckets. I've already done that. I already have like two table buckets over here, if you can see, right? So I'm going to use that. Now, you will head over to permissions uh, and yeah, and then make sure you attach, uh, you know, uh, these items into it, right? So you wanna make sure you assign S3 get bucket metadata table configuration, S3 uh, colon create bucket metadata table configuration and S3 delete bucket metadata table configuration. Make sure these are added, right? I already have added, right? Now I'm gonna go to the metadata preview, click on create metadata over here, I'm gonna browse the bucket. I can see both my table buckets. I'll choose the demo ice per table bucket 1995. Click on create. Uh, or I can actually choose the first one. I'll just choose this one. Saumil demo table buckets 1995, okay? Uh, give it a name that you like. Uh, usually this is a good convention. You use the word S3 metadata and then followed by the bucket where you fr from which you're collecting the metadata, right? So I'm just gonna click on create metadata and uh, you will see that now the status has changed to creating. So behind the scenes now it's, you know, uh, getting all the metadata about the objects in that bucket, right? Now, if you go to the table buckets over here and go to Saumil uh, bucket, here you will see a name called S3 metadata, Saumil dev, whatever name that you gave. This is the namespace. And now you can query this particular data, right? And now we're gonna see how to do that. To simplify creating EMR cluster and then submitting a step, I, I wanted to make it easy, right? So. I wrote a shell script over here, as you can see. Uh, this will take all the configuration. I'm gonna use EMR 7.5, name of the cluster, region, log, uh, uh, bucket for storing the logs, service role, right, subnet ID, my uh, PEM key, right, a config file, job path, job path meaning the PySpot job that you wanna run to query that metadata file, right? Uh, and, 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 and then where do you wanna store that path on S3, right? So I'm gonna come here. And then once this is done, I, I wanna scroll a little bit up here. Here, So I copy that particular job, which is locally on my, um, what you call uh, machine, as you can see right here, right? I'm gonna query that particular table, right? As you can see, right? This name was there on S3, right? If I can probably pull up my S3 table buckets. Yeah, right, this is the table name, right? Now if you can see here, right? So basically we say, you know, hey, use this particular catalog. Inside that, I, well, I basically do show tables. So I'm gonna see that table name and then I'm running a select star query, right? So just showing you that, right? So going back to the shell script, this will copy that shell, uh, the, the Python PySpark job on S3, as you can see on line number 18. And after that, what it does, it basically uh, calls uh, create EMR cluster. And once the cluster is created, it submits a step, as you can see. And this is the PySpark job on S3, which we're gonna submit. And the expected output is we see a data frame printed on the console. So now we're gonna take a look at that process. So let's do that part. So as you can see over here, I have these files in my directory. I'm gonna be running the shell shell script here, read metadata.shell. This is gonna create that EMR cluster, right? Uh, so chmod plus x dot slash read metadata.shell. So I gave the permission. Right, and now I'm gonna execute read metadata.shell. So here you can see uploaded the job on S3 and now uh, it did create a cluster for me, EMR cluster for me. So if I head over to my EMR and if I refresh, I should see, yeah, yeah there you go. 
starting state right so you have uh, a, a job here and if i go to step here you can see that particular step here you can see the arguments right that's the job uh, which resides on s3 and now again the goal is uh, in the logs i'll be able to show you that uh, output right so uh, this particular table bucket here, S3 metadata, whatever that long name is, we are going to query that using Spark, right? So I, 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 uh, the expected output is to see that data frame on the console. So let me do this is, you know, this usually takes like about uh, one to two minutes, you know, creating EMR's uh, cluster, right? So I'm going to pause and once the job is probably in the running or, uh, or completed, I'll resume and show you the log. So I'm going to pause the video right here at this step. Looks like my step is finally in the running state as you probably may see, right? So the cluster, uh, as you can see, it's running, running step, right? So, you know, once the dependencies are in, uh, installed on that e machine, right? Now it's now running my step. So right now the logs are not available, as you can see. So I'm gonna probably wait for a couple of more uh, minutes. And once the job is complete, I'll show you the logs. And you should be able to see that S3 metadata and you can probably query it, right? So just gonna wait for a couple of more minutes. Uh, hopefully once the logs are, are there, I will show you the, 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 the data frame output on the console. All right, so yeah, the job is complete. So if I go to STD out over here, you can see, uh, first of all, we, we, we said show tables inside that catalog, right? So we are able to see that particular table, S3 metadata Saumil, uh, go back to S3 here. This is the table bucket, right? You can see that over here. Uh, going to the data frame again and now here you can see I can see the bucket the key the sequence number the record type record timestamp version ID is deleted marker size last modified date uh, IP address there's a lot of information here right so my goal for the video was to hey can I make it easy for you uh, to teach you right and that's exactly what I'm trying to do so I hope you have enjoyed the lab and the best way to now learn is I would say try this out man go ahead play spin up an EMR create a metadata, query it and see how it works. That's all I have for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you in the next video.